Hi, I'm Neil Cook. I'm CTO of Cloudmark. And today I'm going to talk about open redirector abuse. Now, what is an open redirector? Well, there's a lot of uh, websites and links out there which take you to interesting places. Um, one of the more trends in recent years has been for links to be a lot shorter. So rather than a link to um, foobar.foo.com slash you know, some big long string, uh, you'll get a link which looks something like um, bit.ly is a typical one, uh, XYZ, for example. Uh, and this is basically a redirector. The, when you go to this website, it's actually encoded with the URL of the full website that you're going to go to, and it redirects you to that full website. But you don't have to type in or uh, uh, link to this, uh, this long URL, you just have to link to this short one. And that's all great, and there's been a lot of really good uses for these. Um, however, one of the problems with these um, redirectors is that typically they're free and they're very, very easy to um, create new links. Now, this goes back to a problem that we've had in Spam for a long time, which is it's very easy for people to create domains, new domains to be used as a link to click in spam or phishing or fraud and those kind of things. But domains still, even though they're cheap, they still cost money. But redirector links don't cost that much money. So if someone sends you uh, a spam message, they can create custom redirector links almost for every single spam message that they send, or certainly uh, they, have, they can send maybe 100 uh, messages with that link and then create a new link and, and, and carry on. So it's very, very cheap and easy for them to create new links for you to send. Now, as a spam company, we're always trying to find these links and stop them if they're malicious, but the more links that get created, it's harder to find. So we work a lot with open redirectors like uh, Bitly and, and, and T.co for Twitter and those kind of uh, companies to detect these open redirector links, to find the ones which are malicious, and then we work with the companies that are hosting those links to try to help them detect when people are abusing those links. Because when those links are abused, it means more spam for you as the customer, um, which is bad for everyone. So one of the things that Cloudmark does when we're trying to help um, companies that host open redirectors, we give those companies information about how they're being abused. So one of the things that we can give them, for example, is uh, what are the IP addresses? An IP address is just an address on the internet that are being used to uh, create the uh, abuse um, on these redirectors. Uh, also, what are, uh, what's the evidence for uh, the abuse that's being used uh, from these redirectors? So for example, what kind of spam uh, is being sent or fraud or phishing? Because one of the things these companies need is evidence because they need to be able to shut down uh, the accounts and the IP addresses that are sending, that are creating these links on their system. So um, in order to shut down this bad guy from um, sending, uh, from creating these links and then you sending spam with those links, they need evidence from what is that spam uh, and they get that evidence from Cloudmark so they can go back and stop the bad guy from creating those links in the first place, which means less spam for everyone.